Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 252. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 252 to 260. Hey, we have a column of data here and we want to count the uh, how many rads there are in this column. Now, we want to be able to type a range of cells here and use this as our cell reference. Well, we could do count if, but how in the world would we tell count if to look at that range right there and then correspondingly look over here? It should return 1 and 2. Hey, if we use count if and then the indirect function, we can do that. So here it is. Equals count if, and instead of just clicking here, which won't work, we will um, type the indirect. The indirect function takes a reference as text and converts it to the actual reference that a formula can use. So now, for count if, we have our range, which would be there. And if you don't believe it, you can always use your F9 key. Let's just uh, um, highlight that and then hit F9. You can see right away that it actually got it, rad, SDF, rad. Always click control Z because that would, if you left the formula that way, it would hard code it there. And then comma, and then in quotes, rad. Now control enter to keep that cell highlighted and put the formula in the cell. Now what if we change this to uh, B7 to B13? Sure enough, it would update. What if we did uh, B11 to B27? Sure enough, there'd be four. B11, there's B11, there's one, two, three, four. There you go. So that's how to uh, get, for whatever reason, if you need to have the range of cells typed into a cell, just use the indirect to convert it to an actual reference uh, that is seen by a function. All right, we'll see you next trick.